two showdown in the NFC. San Francisco leads the series 19 to 14, but Phillies won seven of the last nine. It's the 49ers and the Eagles, and it's next. It's the NFL on EA Sports as you take a look there at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Just a short time ago, these Philly fans in full war as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. Pyrotechnics ablaze. They're set to go as their Eagles will match up with the San Francisco 49ers. Charles Davis and Charles, this is a matchup for us. Well, they're excited about this one and for good reason. We got two offenses that are operating at extremely high levels. No question about it, Brandon. This is not a matchup that you get that often. We're going to see the number one and number two offenses in the entire NFL on the same field. I'd hate to be one of these defensive coordinators. We know that more than likely, they've had a few sleepless nights getting ready for this one. And we're definitely going to see some points put up on the board.
said he was feeling good in the lead up to the season, and he proved it in a big way in week one with four touchdown passes. Had the offense moving to peak efficiency right at the start of the year. Awfully impressive. Pressure comes, and down he goes. The Eagles get down for the save.
return man, Wilson. And he takes this near the 25, just a little That's past the there, call it the 26. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better oh opportunity God, because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play the best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves just that go, go. way. You get a second opportunity. Nothing big happened. But then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. These are his numbers from last week's contest. 22 carries, 77 yards. They look like a team that really emphasized the running game in the offseason. They were going to build around it. Didn't matter they're going to run a gap scheme, power scheme, whatever. They've got a runner who finds yardage if you give just a little bit of space. Let's go! That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, okay, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. And that's caught inside the 35. Now he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. A big connection on that one. 31 yards. I would say just add that one to the total big plays he's already made here in the first month of the year. You've got to think the front office and the coaching staff have got to be excited about what they've seen so far and really excited about what they expect to see down the road. Plenty of shouts from this crowd as they watch the replay. They want to challenge and they're going to get one. feet in bounds. That's the question they've got to decide. And I gotta say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. Come on, Come on, let's go. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. Here's a throw dropped off to his fullback. Three yards the game there, second down. And here's a handoff out of the gun. And he's going to take this close to the first down marker as he stopped at the Eagles 24. Play action, Johnson. That's complete to Dwelly, his tight end. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it Let's inside the 10 to the 7. A nice throw right there. And it Charles, this is game number two in the NFL for this young rookie. His guy's getting the victory last week, and he played pretty well by most accounts. Curious, what did you see? I saw something similar to what you described, Brandon, because I saw a guy who looked the part, a guy who was in command, not just with the touchdown passes, but definitely looked to be in control of the offense as well. And you and I both know that's often uncommon for a rookie quarterback. This is caught. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty really well, but somehow he will muscle his way open and catch the ball. On second down now. It's long. But he is not going to get in as the big body stop him at the wall. They held him out on second down, and now here's third and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And this time. Yes. A great play there. His third touchdown now on the year. And the 49ers are within an extra point of tying this thing up. So it was the passing game that got him down here, but closer to the goal line, it's the running game that gets him home. Certainly appears that they lulled the defense into thinking that the passing game was going to be it the entire drive. Nice change up there going to the running game to get him over the goal line. Gold able to tack on the extra point. And that will tie our score here in this opening quarter of play.
So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And there will not be a return here. On, it's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. Now Deshaun Watson and his offense heading back out there. And he had the touchdown on the last drive, also four for four. Very, very effective. What does he need to do to translate that forward into this drive? Not think that what he saw in coverage his last time is exactly what he's going to get again. He's got to play ahead and start, and start thinking to himself, okay, we just did that. What are they going to take away now? What do we go to as a counter and continue to encourage his offensive line to continue to give him time? They were really good on the last drive. On second and ten, Watson. The Sanders has got it complete. He'll be dropped after a game of about six across the 30 to the 31. Back to throw, Watson. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. It's the cover is strong, and now it's fourth down. Brandon, we saw these defenders flying to the football in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. So on fourth down, here's Chris Jones to punt it away. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and the Niners will go on offense first and 10. An update from a game going on in Indianapolis. It's the Rams that have grabbed the early lead. Daryl Henderson, a bright spot for him offensively as he has run the ball well thus far. down. It's long. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. The last one got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Seven, seven. Our score after one. with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a first and ten. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. He'll lose a yard there and it's second and 11. And they've just not been able to block him at all throughout this game. Seems like every other play, he's doing something in the backfield. Already got two sacks. And now here's a tackle behind the line. Well, we did see where he made the first wave miss, and that was a big part of it. But a lot of it is just being actors back there. Making the defense think it's going to be a pass. They'll run on first down. It's long. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. The football Fletcher Cox there to get him down. The tight end Kittle has it on the left side. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it all further down inside the 40. On third down, Johnson. That's into the hands of Dwelly. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. And I'm losing a couple yards here on the play. And that'll bring out the fourth down. No surprise they decided to throw on third down. A little bit of a surprise that they completed the pass and lost yardage on the play. Here comes the 49ers punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. 
That one sails out of bounds. A side judge will walk it off. And he says it went out of bounds at the nine-yard line. Nice punt. So they'll play the field position game here as a very nice punt is going to pin them back. Yeah, it's almost like watching a game of tennis, or do you prefer ping pong? You know, back and forth like that. But it definitely was excellent, wasn't it? They start on the ground here at Sanders. And he's going to lose yardage here back at the eight. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Moving backwards on first down, never a good thing. What does that do for the mindset on second down? Well, it changes your play call, definitely, because as a play call, you're advancing yourself, thinking, okay, we're going to get a gain here. Now you've got to go back in reverse, come up with something to pick up not just the yardage lost, but gain a few extra. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. From the gun, here's Watson. He'll find the Heisman Trophy winner, Devontae Smith. And wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Watson. And it's complete right back in the hands of Smith. And he's going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Gotta say, I was a little surprised to see him Charles come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're gonna throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. there were a lot less progressions on this play. Just someone that I could dump the ball to and get it out of my hands. Here's Chris Jones now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Gets around him. Almost out kicked his coverage there. 48 yard punt but 10 on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. And San Francisco gets set to go here. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try to force something that can put your team in some jeopardy? On second down, it's long. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. On first down, long. Powers passed him at midfield. Still moving. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 86 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first down. Just a terrific run there, Charles, from a running back who is so compact and powerful. And that strength was on display there. And that, in a nutshell, shows you what this guy is made of. I mean, most guys in the NFL just can't do that. He absorbed the contact, refocused himself, and made a break for the end zone. And the next-gen stat CD, it shows us he covered better than 20 yards after the initial contact was made. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at 
the 26 yard line. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Now a give right side. It's Mitchell. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four yard pickup leaves on the third and one. On third down, long. Let's go. Someone's been having a Let's good go. game so far. And you know something? Lob has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. second one in week two now how about the pace he's already established right not sure he can keep it up for an entire season but don't burst the bubble because he thinks that he can do guys go into a season with a goal for touchdown scored or yardage what do you think i think every single one of the guys who's going to touch the football they all have those types of goals they all have those types of thoughts and then they just have to see how the season unfolds if they can stay with it unfolding so far so good for him Gold with the extra point, and that makes the score 14 to 7. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Fielded right around the 8. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Sean Watson and his offense heading back out there. He's had a solid start to this game, but bottom line is they're losing, so he, he doesn't care about his stats. He just wants to write the ship on the scoreboard. He wants to actually increase his stats because he feels like if he does, that means things will get better for his team, maybe get him back into the ball game or into the lead. In these situations, I remember playing with a quarterback once where he actually ran out onto the field first ahead of everyone else just to say, guys, let's go. Try and create that energy, create that spark. Well, so far, he has one touchdown, one interception. He'll be looking for that second touchdown now. Looking to throw again on second down. Watson, throw left side complete. That's Sanders. Short completion, just three yards. And they're going to face a third down. We see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. From the 50, it's Watson. And once again, this is Sanders. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. You ready? You ready? You ready? Another catch for him there. This drive ran it and it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. At that time, they pick up the first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Watson looks to throw again. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. Boom! That's 
Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. To try again after the sack. Watson, he'll let this go for the end zone. And this is caught. Touchdown. Francisco going to call ready. their second timeout as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. Back to throw again. There goes a deep ball. In zone. And he holds it in, in the end zone. Touchdown San Francisco. We saw this plenty last year in college. He loved to take his shots downfield and that throw, that was a thing to behold there. And as that ball was hanging in the air with the receiver streaking downfield to meet it, here in the stadium, you could just sense the crowd thinking, oh no! And their worst fears were realized as that would turn into a long touchdown. And that throw, unbelievably, better folks than 80 yards in the air, according to next-gen stats. Simply incredible. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and the lead is now 21-14. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Pulls it in at the 13. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Now back to work for Miles Sanders in the Philly offense. He's been good. They've utilized him well, but they're losing here in the second quarter. What might they change offensively? I think that what you try and do is expand how you get the ball to him a little bit. Get him out in open space, maybe swing the ball to him. What's that they used to call it in the West Coast offense, the long handoff? Yeah. Serve as your running play that way, as well as continue to feed him the football. Some of these runs now may pop bigger later in the game because of the effects of running it. Sometimes people have to run, they don't tackle him anymore. Or they get tired or they get out of position when he runs two tackles. Continue to feed him the ball is having that kind of game. Yeah, might they get him the ball in some space in some different ways here. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back up the plays. But with the kind of numbers he's putting up here, it's starting to wear on him a little bit, I think. So they're looking at each other and trying to figure out what defense will work and how can they play better without getting beat deep for big passes. 
He's going to drop this down to Sanders. And he is down at the 48. The pickup of four that started at the 48 yard line and ended at the other. So we have reached halftime here with the visiting 49ers on top. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, we'll get back to you and Charles in a bit, but first it's time for a trip around the NFL following an eventful opening weekend. Let's see what's happening in week two. We begin up at Lucas Oil Stadium, L.A., with their second straight road game to start the year, Take it on Indy in their second straight home game. And it's the Rams who are out in front in that one. Van Jefferson, a touchdown reception. We'll stay in the AFC South as we head over to check on the Jags at home in Jacksonville. And they've got the lead over the visiting Denver Broncos. First overall pick, Trevor Lawrence with two touchdown passes. Finally, we finish at MetLife Stadium to see what's going on with the Jets. And they currently trail in that game against the visiting Patriots. The Patriots try to even their mark at 1-1 one one after dropping their opener a week ago. We continue on with a check of the next-gen stat in that first half for the Niners. And it's been the running game that's pushed them to this halftime lead. Over 100 yards as a team in those first two quarters. Meanwhile, for the Eagles, there's a look at what they were able to do throwing the football. And they'll need to get things in gear as they trail here at the break. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Now it's Wilson. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Come on, fellas. So here are the Niners to take over on offense. Last week, good result. They were able to beat the Detroit Lions, and now they are on the good side of the scoreboard right now as well. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. They'll start the third quarter here on the ground. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. They'll keep it on the ground. It's long, and he'll be brought down right around the 37. Here we go. Here. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Back to throw, Johnson. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. And again this time to the tailback. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. The two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. They'll keep it on the ground. Long. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. 120 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now and their pace. This is ball control football. Sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Johnson's slow, pulled in by Kittle. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Johnson throwing on first down. Pressure and he will go down. Sack back at the 38. He couldn't get rid of it. He takes a sack for a loss of six to bring him second down. Impressive individual effort there. No one was going to stop him around the edge. Yeah, no doubt about it. That's why if you play in a 4 3 base and you're a defensive end, that's why you get the big bucks. They count on you to do everything. Defend the run, and of course, get to the quarterback. So second and long, you got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he'll take this one down to the 36. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's been quick. More than a space eater. He just made a great play there. Completes it to the tight end kill. And he'll be going down at the 28, and that is Rush on the first. It'll be a game of eight, but it'll also be a third down. Brandon, a good idea to do a third down. Clear out and hope you get your receiver the ball coming across the formation. Nice design, but well played defensively, and they stop it well short. The 
49ers are going to turn over the special teams crew. The field goal unit is out there now. Spotted at the left hash. This from 45. And Gold is able to put it through. And a lead works its way up to 10, 24-14. So put another three on the board. All things considered, a good opening drive to begin the third quarter. And as a defense, the way that this game is going, you're excited to see those points go on the board. Gives them a little bit of leeway to play with when they're out on the field. But they're real excited to see the offense start. Now they get to go out there and do their part. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. And their deficit a little wider now than it was at halftime following the field goal a moment ago. But the goal is still the same because you know they want to come out, establish a rhythm in the second half, and get going. Make no mistake about it, though. Kicking field goals, not in their game plan. They need to get the ball in the end zone. They're going to be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Outside handoff to the right side. If you're a running back, you love getting the ball early, so you have vision to see what's happening in front of you. Right tackle, like said, call. Big play for him, but don't forget about the guys you always tell me on the backside sealing off. They talk about cutoff blocks, making sure no one can leak from the backside that can run a play down. And nobody leaked. Big play. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Running right. Here's Sanders. And no room to maneuver there. Give him a yard up to the 47. Sometimes you're a line you. the oh, play comes to you. And sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the play as we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the ball. and 10 at the 41. Now it's Watson. Drive to the middle, caught by Jordan. And brought down, but now the fielder inside the 25. That's a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking ground and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. Here comes the field general leading his offense back out there for the next possession. He is 
has been consistent, hasn't he? He played well in the first quarter, good second quarter, and now continuing that here in the third. And that's the word that they're always seeking from the guy taking the snaps, is consistency. Taking care of the ball, making sure it gets to the right people, no errors, right? Not turning it over, and just doing on, all man. the right things. That's leadership, and it inspires confidence in a team. Yeah, been a good leadership and a good distributor. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. And now the ball's out, fumbled near midfield, and the Eagles have recovered. <laughs> Last week, now a fumble lost this week. Yeah. Is this just growing pains of a rookie? It is growing pains, but they can't afford it. Not him nor his team. That means extra work during the week with his coaching staff and extra work on his head to make sure he doesn't lose his confidence. They like him. They want him to flourish. Because you know he wants to avoid that label of being a fumble machine. It is a label that is hard to shed. And that just means teams come after you even more, ripping and raking at the football when you're carrying it. They'll run on first down. It's Sanders. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. They'll go again with Sanders. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. To throw is Watson. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. This one will sail out of bounds. And the pin on the spot here. And the side judge says that went out at the seven-yard line. Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that, hasn't it? Seems they? like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice with hula hoops where they play some trap put on there. Now a lot of guys use barrels on the sidelines to try and put the football in one. Here's a run on first down that doesn't accomplish anything. In fact, he's going to be tapping behind the line for a loss of one. What the strategy? Extra tight ends, extra beat, they want to run the football. But that means if I want to run it inside, if he gets strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. A loss of a yard there to start out, that leads to a second and 11. They'll keep it on the ground. It's long. And able to get it here to about the 16-yard line. On third down, it's long. And he will get the first down as he's up to the 20-yard line. Well, partner, none of these runs individually have added up to a whole lot. Now three plays, all three short runs, but together a first down. Yeah, it's amazing how the narrative changes when you string them together. of catches and the volume that we've seen in this game. Wouldn't you keep him busy as well? I would. Of course. you got to <laughs> keep throwing it to him. He keeps making plays. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. And they will run on the inside handoff. And that is going to 
to do it for this third quarter of action. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. So two first downs, and that moves the ball to the 42 now, first and 10. It's 49er football here. They've got the lead as well as we get set to start the fourth and final quarter. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to take it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage. And, put the and it's complete in the end zone. Touchdown, Come on, 49ers. Man. A big play there with his second touchdown of the game, the fourth of the year. And the Niners are looking to make it two straight as they add on to this fourth quarter lead. They have to love seeing that from their young quarterback here in the fourth quarter, able to further that lead with a touchdown pass. He didn't go turtle, did he? And you know what I mean by that. I had an old coach used to say all the time, hey, when we have a lead late, don't just tuck in and try and ride it out. Go out and play and extend the lead. And that's what he did. Gold with the extra point and the lead now up to 14. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. This will be fielded inside the five. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further go, as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Eagles offense back out getting set for this next drive. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet right there, right and go to a spot that they haven't caught before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before and realize it hasn't worked go to somewhere else. And maybe you try and find one of those special plays for one of your better players and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. Now Sanders. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. Right in with a one yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple scores. And they've really got to get some yards in chunks. And they know the defense doesn't want to give those up. They've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Now Watson. Open man has got it, the tight end. And he's got this down to the 35. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Watson now to throw. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who no this is on. Now those linemen, of course, can't be more than a yard downfield when a pass is thrown, and they might have been able to call that on a couple of guys there. Right there, 54, right there, right there. Shotgun snap into the give to Sanders. And he only manages a couple here down to about the 38-yard line. Now on second and 13, Watson, and down he goes. The 49ers get there. They bring the safety on the blitz, and he busts through to drop it for an eight-yard loss. That takes a start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? No, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Oh, Gonna need something special here on third and long. After that sack, what does Watson have in his arsenal? Looking to throw. 
Watson. This is Smith with a grab. He'll get 17 back there, but it'll still be a down. I ain't going nowhere. I ain't going nowhere. Boy, they have a lot of real estate to make up there, but what a big-time play for them. Nice completion, excellent gain. Now they're in fourth and manageable. Just a little short, though, with that marker. They're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Desperation time. Watson on fourth down. To the sideline, and he's got it. They say the feet are down. Yes, the line judge says they're in. That'll be a first down. Good yardage on the completion there. When they look at the scoreboard, they do understand. A field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They'll run here with Gamewell, and he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. A give running left, it's Sanders, and he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. Call it no gain that time, and now it's third and goal. Now Watson on third and goal. And he's going to go down, sack back at the 13-yard line. That's how we do it. Nick Bosa from out on the edge who worked his way in for the sack. Nick Bosa had an outstanding freshman campaign in 2019 with a nine-sack season and was named Defensive Rookie of the Year. Went down with a knee injury in week two last year, and the Niners' fortunes seemed to sag right along with it. The field goal doesn't help. They're going to go for the six here on fourth and goal. They will indeed snap it to Watson. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. They can't hook up here on the fourth down pass attempt. And the 49ers are going to get the football back. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur. So they can't let that dream go just yet. They have to get... Oh, he breaks a tackle, and he's got an alley. And now the rookie's free. Pass the 20. Touchdown, 49ers. A great effort there. 87 yards. And the Niners are on their way to a 2 0 start. And boy, CD, it's one thing to watch a great run, but when it's a great run with broken contact, it's like a cherry on top. That was a nice play. Yeah, this is one of the best runs you'll see. A lot of times on these long touchdowns, you'll see he gets into the end zone untouched, but not here. He fought his way through contact and it barely even registered, and he just continued down the field all the way to the end zone. And you can see the distance traveled there after the initial contact on the next-gen stats. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Fielded right around the eight. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. And Philadelphia's offense ready to go again. And last time out, went for it on fourth down. Turned it over, gave a great field position, turned it to six points. So they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. Caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. 
Back to throw, Watson. Well, it's caught on the right side at Smith. Seven yards to pick up there. To throw again on second down, Watson. And that's complete to Sanders. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Again, it's Watson. That catch good for only a couple. Throwing again on second down. Watson. That swung out wide to Sanders. So five yards here, five on the play. And it'll be third down. A shotgun snap for Watson. And he's got his man. It's the tight end, Goddard. And he is going to have an Eagles first down. And he was able to get it by Plunkett. A gain of eight on third and three. That was a round run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to one. On first down, it's Watson. And the Niners get there and bring him down. Back him up, back him up. And we are inside of two minutes left in this lopsided affair. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Watson. And Sanders has got it complete. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. That is caught. It's the tight end, Goddard. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Here's Watson. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Throwing again, it's Watson. Over the middle, complete. That's Jordan. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 12-yard line. And that is, I think he caught it. He did, but they'll say out of bounds. It'll be incomplete. To the air yet again, Watson. And that's going to be knocked away in the end zone. It's incomplete. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions. Have a look at it, third and ten. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a scotch of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to Let's wind go. up Let's incomplete. Go. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the 49ers are going to get the football back. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. The 49ers offense now, they work their way back onto the field. They have the dream scenario you hope for coming into the game. Just one kneel here, and this game should be over. And it's always the final play of preparation each week. The practicing of the kneel down formation, the victory formation. We've got a game in hand, and that's all they're going to want to do now. They'll put someone back deep just in case something goes haywire. But all in all, take the snap, kneel down, and it's shake smile. hands. Yes, get out of there. So the victory here for San Francisco, and it was their defense that led the way, allowing just three points, that lone field goal in the entire second half. And remember the old adage, offense sells tickets, defense does what? Wins championships. And in this game, maybe a championship wasn't won, but a game was by the defense, right? Held them in just a field goal? That's a heck of a job. I mean, when they went out there with that determination and 
a pretty good game plan, pretty good idea of what they wanted to accomplish. Just love the execution, love the tenacity, love the way they finished. So for the Niners, it's a dream start. Two wins in two early road games. And they'll return home next week to take on the Green Bay Packers.